What's up, blockchain pioneers, co-tech rebels, and anyone who still thinks cloud computing is something the weather does? Yes, Derek, that means you. Welcome to the Core Chronicles 7, part one, where we take you through all the latest co-tech updates with just enough sarcasm to make your day a little brighter, or at least more tolerable for that matter. I'm Orkut Lopesher, the living, breathing CEO and co-founder of Kotech, which some rumors stated a little differently. Well, weeds do not perish that easily, my friends. So today we're diving into things, core ETL, pay to smart cities, and the mind-blowing results from our New York trip that might just make you question how you ever lived without blockchain. Spoiler alert, you didn't live, you survived. So strap in, ladies and gentlemen, because what we're about to announce is going to reshape the future of blockchain and possibly make Derek's head explode in the process. So, first up, core ETL or as I like to call it, the Marie Kondo of blockchain data. ETL, that's Extract Transform Load, takes all that messy, unstructured data lying around your blockchain and organizes it into something neat and queryable. Whether it's Postgres SQL, MySQL, SQLite, or even Cloudflare's connectors, Hyperdrive, Core ETL is here to make sure that raw blockchain data actually sparks joy in your analytics heart. And it doesn't just stop at servers. Core ETL can be deployed on IoT devices or even mobile phones. Yes, we're talking about running blockchain nodes on your phone while Derek is still figuring out how to turn his on. Imagine querying blockchain data while sipping a latte, pretending you're just checking Instagram. It's the future, baby, and it's happening right now. Next, let's talk Pay2, which has just received an upgrade so big, it's like your payments just got a gym membership. We developed Pay2 on the Svetlkit framework from the beginning, making it faster, more secure, and smarter than ever. Pay2 allows you to execute transfers instantly between parties, whether you're using NFC tags, QR codes, links, or even meta tags. Yes, that's a thing. This is how payments were meant to be. No middlemen, no delays, and no awkward conversations with your bank about why the transaction is pending. Imagine paying for something in seven seconds flat, faster than Derek can hit retry on his failed credit card transaction. Yeah. Recurring payments have been available for quite some time and we're continuing to support and enhance them. Set it, forget it, and let pay to do all the work while Derek's still fumbling for his wallet. This is the future of payments and we're already there. So now what we're gonna do is call on all SQL nerds. UniQuery is about to become your new favorite tool. Built on the Drizzle ORM plugin, UniQuery takes everything you love about rational databases like Postgres, SQL, MySQL, and SQLite and smashes it together with the power of blockchain. Oh, what a tongue twister. <laughs> it's like giving your database a TypeScript and JavaScript boost, allowing you to automate processes, pull data on demand, and use the magical SQL command to query blockchain data like a pro. Meanwhile, Derek is still asking, 
What is an API key again? You'll be automating queries while he's Googling what is SQL. So now that we're getting into NFC routing, picture this. You will walk into a store, tap your phone, pay, and leave before Derek even figures out how to unlock his phone. This is what NFC routing does. Settlements so fast, so easy, you'll wonder why we ever bothered with clunky card readers. We tested this magic with your IoT devices and mobile nodes, and the results? Spectacular. Now, we can build enterprise networks for global payments where all you need to do is tap. Yes, you heard that right. Tap, pay, and walk away like a boss. It's the future of seamless transactions, and it's happening right now. Derek's still fumbling with his wallet, but you're already halfway home. So, next up, strap in for this one. TXMS or 0D transactions lets you execute blockchain payments without the internet. You heard me. Whether it's through SMS, MMS, both currently supported, or whatever ancient communication system you can dig up, TXMS has you covered. You can execute a transaction by sending a simple encoded text. That's right. Text a payment, encoded, and boom, blockchain settlement. No Wi-Fi needed whatsoever. It's like using carrier pigeons, but way cooler. Derek's still trying to figure out why his Wi-Fi drops every time it rains, but you'll be running settlements in the middle of nowhere. Like it's no big deal. So... We then went into some deep research and we analyzed the BRICS pay code. And guess what? Cross-border payments are about to get a lot easier. DCMS, Decentralized Cross-Border Message System, is the secret source behind this. And we can integrate it seamlessly into Pay2. This means you can execute payment anywhere. Fast, secure, and without those annoying fees that make you feel like you're funding a bank executive's yacht. Whether you're sending money to Shanghai or Sao Paulo or anywhere in between, Bricks Pay makes it feel like you're just paying your neighbor. Meanwhile, Derek's international transaction is still pending for approval. Then, we went into stable tokens. The only thing more stable than Derek's excuse for not paying rent on time, we've built a stable token structure that's pegged near one-to-one -to, -one to fiat currency. Meaning, no more wild price fluctuations that make you question your life choices. Whether it's CBDCs or third-party solutions, we've got it covered with real-time audits and instant transfers. Stable tokens bring the kind of instant off-ramp that makes Derek's crypto portfolio look like a bad joke. So, compliance isn't exactly the sexiest thing in blockchain, right? <laughs> But it's necessary. <laughs> Enter the Go AML5 library, which we released, where we've connected to platforms which are using CorePass to make KYC processes faster and more accurate than ever before. Now, financial institutions can manage compliance, like it's their favorite hobby. It's fast, secure, and takes the guesswork out of risk assessment. While Derek is still struggling to fill out his tax forms, you'll be handling compliance like a pro. So, next up, I think we should discuss the core license, which is your new best friend, if you're into open source software, that is. It's permissive, meaning 
you can modify and share the software as long as you keep those changes public. Transparency and control in one beautiful package, basically. So Derek's still reading the fine print on his Spotify terms of service, but you, you're out there evolving blockchain tech. So now I want to go for one of the big ones, which is the CorePass version 2. Yep, it's coming. We're rolling out some serious upgrades, including digital attributes, verified wallets on Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Binance. Oh, and did I mention in the new version too, custom DAOs for businesses? Because that's a thing now. This version of CorePass isn't just a digital wallet anymore. It's what differentiates an app with a tool. It's a full-blown business tool. You'll be able to handle employees, permissions, representatives, and everything in between. Derek's still juggling three different email accounts, but you, you'll be running an entire business with a single DAO. Oh, and pro tip. The fee for buying XCB and CTN vouchers in CorePass is going to increase to 40% due to the misuse of the application and to drive people to buy in Ping Exchange. Talking about Ping Exchange, we're rolling out fiat on-ramp services. Woohoo! Allowing users to buy crypto with their debit cards or credit cards. It's seamless, it's fast, and it's everything you've been asking for. So, we're also expanding our listing pairs with the Binance chain. We are also going to release the Launchpad, opening new projects to list their tokens. And to top it off, we will also release instant swapping faster than Derek can say, Jinx. Another important thing to mention, trading fees. They are going up, ladies and gentlemen, to 0.5 and 0.5%, which is still very affordable. But with all these new features, we think you'll agree it's worth every penny. Right, now a, a difficult topic. The Vega NFT has been a hectic and heated topic lately. And after much debate, we've decided to unbundle it. With new regulations around asset-backed tokens, we'll be distributing these assets directly to owners via ping exchange. Compliance? Check. Control over your assets? Double check. Okay, let's set the record straight. Michael and I didn't disappear in New York. We were working hard. And let me tell you, the results are huge. We've got some of the most exciting developments coming. And here's the kicker. We can't tell you yet why. Confidentiality agreements, my friends. But trust me, when we announce these things, it'll be on Bloomberg, Fox News, CBS, ABC, and beyond. Thanks to our partnership with Vince Caruso and New to the Streets. We're playing at the highest levels now. And when these announcements hit, buckle up. Because we're about to take blockchain mainstream in a way that's never been done before. So, now... The next thing that we need to talk about is our killer partnership with Level Up and Next Up. This isn't just about VC backing. This is a working partnership. Brandon Meyer and Aaron Goldman have been guiding us through a whole new level of corporate communication. Reshaping how we present ourselves to the world, basically. Their insight is pure gold. And they're opening doors to connections we couldn't have imagined. This partnership is leveling us up, pun intended, making sure we hit the market with the impact we deserve. And finally, my favorite topic right now, 
Tuzla Smart City. Our prototype equipment, lamp post agnostic, which means we don't need lamp posts, are in production. And when I say they're futuristic, I mean Blade Runner futuristic, minus the flying cars for now, maybe later. <laughs> These aren't just lampposts and poles. They're packed with Luna Mesh, decentralized storage, IoT readers, miners, and everything we need to turn any regular city into a smart city. And get ready for a city that does more than just shine. And that's a wrap up for Core Chronicles 7, part one. I'm Orchid Loebscher, and I want you to know we're not just building the future, we're shaping it. Our infrastructure is designed to create massive demand for XCB and CTN. And when that demand hits, it's going to skyrocket the markets and the circulation. So if you're not already involved, now is the time. Please like, subscribe, and share. The real blockchain revolution is here. And trust me, you don't want to miss this ride.